Okay, I'm gonna try this one last time because this garbage won't save every time I try to do it. Season three, episode eight, The Mandalorian. The episode sucks. It was underwhelming for a season finale. It was no way up to par. It was no way worthy of a season finale episode. That Lizzo Jack Black episode, it seems like everything since then, it straight up had a black cloud over it. It's tainted everything. Although I liked the last episode, I spent half the episode just waiting for something terrible to happen. And with this episode, it's not that anything terrible happened. It was just really, really underwhelming. You don't bring in the palace guards and then not have a Jedi. What's going on with that? And the actor that plays Moff Gideon, I think he's terrible. I don't care about what he did on Breaking Bad Gus or whatever it was. Breaking Bad lost me in the second season when they were like, oh, Walter White, you know, the cancer you had, it's not the bad cancer, it's the okay cancer, you're going to live. But once you start moving the goalposts and there's no stakes, I don't care anymore. That was just a little side tangent about Breaking Bad. But the whole point is, I don't care about his character in Breaking Bad. He's not, he might be a good actor in Abel Ferrer movies, he might be a good actor in things here and there, but as far as the shows he's been doing... He's overacting. His acting is cardboard. It's plastic. It sucks. You can sit there and be like, Juan Carlo Giancana, whatever his name is. I don't care. I don't care. Go to that scene in this last episode when he's talking about his clones, how he wanted them to use the force. Go ahead and lie and tell me the way he delivered his lines was great. That he's a great actor. Go ahead. And they're not giving them just one take and that's it. They're giving them several takes. So you got to keep in mind that that take was the best take that they did of that. So stop it. He's a cornball actor. He he overacts. That, that's also a fault of the director. I don't know if the director just doesn't want to offend him or doesn't clarify that, hey, adults are also watching this too. This isn't just for like little tiny kids. So, you know, kind of add some realism to it since you're supposedly a great actor. I don't know, but it it's not good. It hasn't been good through three seasons, but it hasn't been as bad as this season. Also, through the whole season, they're sitting there is Moff getting alive? Is Moff getting... You already knew he was going to be alive. Why do you keep dragging this stupid stuff out? Just get to the point and get the story moving. This season feels like they had to fill this spot. So they just had to put the show out ready or not, whatever they had. That's what it feels like. This was not a worthy Mandalorian entry. Pause. Also, uh, what's the other one? Okay, so the part where the Mandalorians that don't wear the helmets, they're in the Star Destroyer and they're getting taken down by like eight TIE Fighters. Where's your shield? Where's your turret guns? Where? They might have explained it, but those characters are so unlikable that when they come on the screen, I can't pay attention. So maybe they explained it. Maybe they said, oh, such and such disabled the shields. Maybe, whatever. But it just looks stupid. It just looked dumb, and it didn't look like they... These ideas don't seem well thought out. They seem like they just were in a time crunch through the whole making of this third season. They're just like, yeah, yeah, just, you know, you know, just do that, and hopefully nobody will pay attention. Uh, what was the other one? B -b 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 yeah, Bo Katan. I you got all these people complaining, 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 complaining about Bo Katan at first through the season. I didn't really think it was that big of a deal, but now you can clearly see that they're moving her up in a in a in a position. And I don't think it's to take this show over. I think what they want to do is they want to raise the value of other characters. So when they're cross pollinating, it means more, right? Because if you just have the only people that mean anything are you are the stars of the show and then they're not really going to cross over too much because other people are the stars of their shows then you know that doesn't really work out too well but you have these b characters like 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 if they would have kept gina carano that would have been a good person to build the value up then have them go over to another show or whatever maybe have their own show but that that's what i think they're doing but i don't want it at, at the expense of the mandalorian because there are we, the episodes aren't that long and we don't get that many episodes and it's too far in between seasons Although after this season, we may want to wait a little while. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, season finale for season three. I just, zero to ten dog bones. I give it four dog bones, and that's not a good four. It was disappointing. But see, this might be one of those things, though, kind of like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan wouldn't have came back and won three more titles had he not tried to go play baseball and failed miserably and been mocked by Sports Illustrated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Some people need to be humbled to come back even stronger. Um, so I, I hope this is one of those things. I hope that the bad reception from this season was so bad that whoever's in charge of Disney is like, hey, Kathleen, just you need to stay out because you're ruining the couple of things that we have that people actually like. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise. I don't know. But God, please, if you're up there, give Kathleen Kennedy the woman cancer. And I'm talking about like stage six. 
All right, let's let's speed this up. All right, we need to get her out of here. But uh, four dog bones. This is your boy Winston Wolf. I'm out.